Wow. <laughs> okay, what what's going on guys? Welcome to another Star vs. the Forces of Evil analysis video. Boy, do we have certain things to talk about. And of course, what else would I be talking about other than Starko? The one thing that are mainly on people's minds. And as per usual, like I didn't do in the last video, I need to go back to the clips. Coming from this episode and the episode previous to that, we have made it up to two more clips and that makes it 28 out of the 29 clips shown from the Starberry promo. Now remember, the one last clip that we're missing is the clip where we see someone using the all-seeing eye spell to spy on star and remember since most likely the episode the hard way came before raid the cave they might show toffee or ludo using the book of spells to use that specific magic still not exactly too sure why they would flash back to that event but only time will tell okay so let's start from the beginning Okay, no, not that far. There we go. Of course, the episode starts off with Marco and Star all happy and joyous, you know, getting ready for the night before the concert. They lip sync after brushing their teeth, and then they head off to bed. And then overnight, Marco gets news that Star invited Jackie for them to hang out with each other. Despite the fact that Star herself has made more physical contact with Marco in this episode alone than Jackie probably ever will in her life. Continuing on with the story, Marco is concerned about whether or not he will be cool enough for Jackie since Star is so awesome herself. They still manage to sleep it off, and then the Next morning, Star is rushing the crap out of Marco to get ready, even though, ironically, she's going to regret it all in the end. Star motivates Marco again as they prepare for the concert, and remember, just like the promo for this week, we can see a huge book. But however, from what it seems, she doesn't have possession of the Book of Spells. She even explains in the part A of the episode Collateral Damage that it's no longer with her. So I guess all of that hype was for nothing? The only way possible is if in the episode Math Magic, Star actually entered a different timeline instead of her own. Own. Of course, a timeline where she didn't lose the Book of Spells to Ludo. But once again, that's just a theory and it doesn't seem very likely. While they head their way to the concert, Marco has some seriously unlucky events that happen to him. He tears the shirt that was obviously too tight for him in the first place by accident after crashing into a bunch of ducks. Then they head to a vet where Marco has to pay off the bill of $650, which is the exact amount he gets monthly from the Princess Marco toy industry. So yeah, they slid in a little bit of some continuity right there. They later return the ducks to the same place Star was in in the episode Star vs. Eco Creek. She explained that she once lived there for a day and then Jackie laughed saying me too. So let me get this straight. Jackie used to live by the river in Eco Creek. Hopefully it was because she enjoyed skating so much that it was the perfect place to live. Otherwise if it's not because of that, where were her parents when she was away? And this still also proves how very little Marco knows about Jackie and how very little we know about Jackie. Like for example, did he know about how many piercings she has not that it's a bad thing but i'm just saying did did anyone notice that just seeing marco again frightens the little ducks and depresses him as well but this time jackie helps him instead of star who conveniently interrupts their bonding they soon make it to the concert and it turns out that they have a great time until star doesn't realize that she's the third wheel not Jackie. Both Star and Marco's second favorite song begin, and when it does, Jackie drags him to dancing with her. I mean, I guess that's one way to set him straight. I was beginning to think that she knew exactly what was going on. Oh, but don't worry, it gets better. Star starts to hold on to Marco's hand while they lip sing with the performance. Until just moments later, Star witnesses her worst nightmare of being punched in the face with the friend zone. Yep. It's true, Marco and Jackie kiss, but it really gets toxic when Marco says this. Are you sure? Duh! What are friends for? Now go up there and be with your girlfriend! You're the best friend a guy could have. Yeah! All around me are familiar faces. You hear that? You, shh, you hear that? You hear that? That's the sound of Starko fans. Silent, but deadly. And I myself will admit, I was in shock. Ugh, I mean, holy crud. This is just horrible. Then it... It ends with Star walking away like a boss from her explosion to the love sentence billboard. Roll credits, because that's just a cliffhanger waiting to be continued in the finale. You just wait. Oh yes, of course, and speaking of the finale, there was a promo for it, and I totally intend on analyzing it in another day or two from now. Well, after that exhausting episode, this has been The Next Big Thing with another video, and I hope to see you in the next one. 
peace because you're gonna need it for the finale.